okay guys so here is um, some of my first shopping hauls for February 7th through the 21st um, I am sh I always kind of shop out of the week or whatever because my budget is already in an envelope you know my 150 but anyway so how I do this is I have an envelope that has $150 in it and it's labeled for two weeks at a time and so this envelope I am working on is February 7th through the 21st and the reason that I'm shopping for that item or for those two weeks now is because I have to get you know the deals each week that the store um, circular comes out so I just already have the money sitting waiting and I buy it like my chicken and everything we have a deep freezer in the garage and everything goes in there or up in the cabinet or I have a bin in the garage as well and I store it there so I'm kind of shopping from that when the time comes so none of these items will be consumed in the next two weeks because I already did grocery haul for that and Daniel thank you, say thank you. he wants to say thank you you say thank you he wants me to say thank you for what for getting you this oh for getting my envelopes Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Sassy. Okay, here we go. This is a long intro. So I went to County Market. I bought three of the Kellogg cereal. They were $1.88. Um, I looked through my coupons. I did have some Kellogg's coupons, but they weren't for these. Um, so I just got them at $1.88. That's pretty good for um, the name brand. At Aldi's, I think I spent $1.60 something and that's kind of like 15 20 minutes away so because I wasn't going to all these I just got the cereal at County Market which is like two minutes from my house so 188 for the cereal and then I got this peanut butter I was looking for a different brand peanut butter but when I got there this store brand was cheaper it was $1.99 so I got that one instead and the ounces was 18 on this and the other one was 16 so um, there you have it my husband likes um, these canned little beefaroni, so he got three of those. They were 99 cents each. And then the Azteca um, flour tortillas. I got four packages of those. These were the only thing I had coupons for. They were a dollar. I had 25 cent off that just came, I think it just came in the Sunday, January 26th newspaper inserts, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, because I cut my stuff, my coupons, and just put them away, I don't know what circular they all come from. So these ended up being 75 cents each. So we will definitely be having meals with tortillas. And then I got all these chicken breasts. I think it's six in there. They were 16, 13, but this week there's a special taking them down to 5.53. So I will probably break this up into three meals. For that five dollars because these are so big um that is it can stretch you know i can add some pasta or whatever to it so yes um i spent 1936 on that so here let's look at the receipt so as you can see the cereal 188 it was originally 339 so took that the 188 there's that peanut butter for 199 beefaroni used to be 139 now it's a dollar and then that meat used to be 1016. They took the 1060 off. And yeah, that was a 530 or 553 or whatever. Um, dairy. I wonder why they have these tortillas and dairy. I don't know. Anyway, so they were a dollar. They originally 149. They were on sale for a dollar. And those are the 25 cent coupons that you see. And there's my total. 1936. So there you have it for County Market. And then I went to Schnucks. There we go, the camera. All right. So at Schnucks, I had um, a lot of coupons. So let me go slow to make sure that I don't mess up anything. So the Muzzleman's six pack of applesauce. I got four of those because they were 99 cents each. And I had a dollar off of two. So. Let me see if I wrote that down on here. That ended up making them 62 cents a pack for one pack of those. So I thought that was great for applesauce that can go on the kids' lunch 
or they can eat on the weekends for lunch or whatever. And then the chips were $2.87 and if you bought three, they dropped it down to $1.87. Um, instantly at the register so these are all $1.87 and those will be for lunches as well for the time frame February 7th through the 21st so okay and then we have the chicken drumsticks you guys know we eat these all the time so they had them for $2.88 and I was spending three something at Aldi so I thought um, yeah get that so that's one meal we usually eat all those in one meal and then we've got the chicken thighs, and they were $3.39, and I think one, I think it's seven in there. So that is definitely enough for a meal. And then we have the ragu. Now there was a deal on the ragu, let me figure that out. Okay, so the ragu was um, $1.50 each, but if you bought four, they took $2 off instantly. So four of them would have made it $6, then they took off the $2 instantly, making that $4. And I had two 75 cents off coupons, which took it to $2.50 for four, making those 63 cents a jar. Uh, yes, I will take those home. And then we have these little wraps for the kids' lunch. They've actually never tried them, so I thought, hey, let's do it. They were a dollar each, and I had a dollar off of two, making them 50 cents each. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, the biscuits. Okay, so the biscuits were 99 cents. So I've got eight of them, which would technically be eight dollars. But I had um, four coupons that were 30 cents off of two, and because... Um, this store Schnooks doubles coupons if it's under 40 cents. That made it um, 60 cents off of two. So I ended up getting um, 60 cents off of uh, $2 would be $1.40. So 70 cents for each one of those. So I thought that was great because we eat biscuits all the time. And then the, um, what are these called? English muffins. Yeah, they were $1.59. I had 55 cents off, so that made it, what, a dollar oh four or something? Good job, sweetheart. And then they had the Barilla pasta. I got the tricolor rotini. I got the rigatoni, the penne, the thin spaghetti. They were all 79 cents, so I just stocked up some more on those. The club crackers were $1.99. I got two of those, and I used a dollar off of two. So I think that took those to about $1.50 a box. My husband eats those with the... Um, beefaroni you saw and we'll eat it with like chili and stuff too so there's croutons for salads that was 99 cent and then they have the um muffin mix the kids like to eat muffins after school those were a dollar each and that is it we can let's take a look at the receipt there's the muffins and the little rev wraps there's the pasta the chips the club crackers all the um the what is it called the applesauces and then the biscuits the drumsticks chicken thigh there you have it so there's all my coupons there you can see she doubled the 30 cent coupons and that took me to $35.66 for that total and like always, I'll show you guys um, on my envelope once I subtract everything and show you what I am working with for those two weeks and where I am on my budget. So thank you guys for watching so much. And I'll um, insert right after this clip my little um, envelope with my budget on it. So thank you guys um, so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Okay guys, so like I said, um, we spend $150 um, every two weeks and um, I just have the money sitting in this envelope and as I grocery shop, I just subtract it. So here's the three shopping hauls that I did today, you can see. So I still have $83.26 and a lot of the times I have to um, wait to use a lot of that money more close to this time because I have to buy all of our fresh fruits and vegetables as well as our breads and you know dairy type of products that would expire if I bought it right now because um, 
I was thinking about like buying the breads and stuff and freezing it but my husband said that he doesn't want to do that so I don't know if he just feels weird about eating bread that has an expiration date on it even though it was in the freezer so um yeah so I've got 83.26 to spend I'm not going grocery shopping um any time I don't think yeah I think I'm done for the week and I do have to go to Meyer, but I probably won't go to Meyer until February 1st because it's a little closer to this time and I only I don't think they have that many deals so it won't take up all that money um so yeah I use some of that then and of course I'll show that haul and then of course I always go to Aldi's to get our fruits and vegetables because they're always on a great deal there so um, with what I got today, I did get a lot of meat, at least a week's worth of meat. So I was super happy about that, or at least five days worth. Um, and plenty of pasta, plenty of pasta sauce. So a lot of the 8326 will go towards, like I said, fruits and vegetables and um, whatever, whatever else we need. So, yep, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry it was kind of... Um, I hope I didn't speed through the haul because I tried not to, but... Um, yeah, here you go. So, um, and hope the video wasn't too long. I had the kids home and it was already four o'clock. I need to cook and get dry at a gymnastics. So I was kind of rushing. So sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next couponing haul. Thank you.